Aquarius, hello, it's your girl here, Miss Hawaii of Miss Hawaii's Tarot. I hope all is well with you guys. It's so good to see you and welcome. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you and I'm so happy that spirit led you here today. All right. A couple of things before I get into your reading, Aquarius, personal readings, you can email. Uh, let me fix this. Hold on, that's a little crooked. Hold on. There we go. You can email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. That is Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. Why does this still look crooked? Hold on. Readings do take one to two weeks, okay, for you to get the reading if you need it expedited. There we go. You can pay an expedited fee and I'll get you the reading within 24 hours. So that is Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. Do not forget that personal readings are 30% off until October 1st. Okay, which is a pretty good discount. Okay, so personal readings 30% off only until October 1st. Take advantage of that and Miss Hawaii readings at gmail.com to inquire about the price of a reading and set that up for you. If this reading resonates with you, there is a link in the description box below that will take you over to the extended reading. Okay, in the extended reading, I will pull your person's cards, see how they feel about you, and see what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you, Aquarius. Okay, so it's very exciting in the extended. Thank you guys, whoever all the Aquariuses are, cross watchers that purchased the extended last week. Thank you so much. That is a very generous way of showing your support towards this channel. So I'm very grateful for you. If you're not a member yet, go ahead and click that join button. You get access to different readings that are not publicly published on YouTube. They are private readings for my members only. So if my readings resonate with you, you've been watching me for a while, you should be a member. So go ahead and click that join button. I have the link as well in the description box for you. And there's also a join button that's right below that will take you right to the membership page. Okay. Instagram, please follow me on Instagram if you have Instagram. My Instagram name is Miss Hawaii Tarot. That is Miss Hawaii Tarot on Instagram. I also have a Facebook page that I have launched for Miss Hawaii Tarot. If you have Facebook and you have not liked that page yet, please be so kind to go ahead and like that page. The link is in the description box for you below. Thank you guys for all of your continuous support, all of your donations, your super chats, your cash apps, your Zells. I'm so grateful for those. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Donation info is in the description box below as well. All right, this is a positive zone only, so please don't come on here disrespecting me or disrespecting any of my subscribers. It will only get you blocked, and it will block your blessings. If the reading is not for you, just move on. I don't need to. I don't need a comment from you. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh yeah, if you have time, subscribe to my other channel, Miss Hawaii Scorpios. I know I haven't put a video up there in a little while. I've been so busy doing these readings and with my own life, but I will be releasing a video on there pretty soon. I'm thinking of a pretty good topic that I'm trying to think of here. I think I have one, but uh, it will be coming soon. So make sure that you uh, go ahead and show your girl some support and subscribe to that channel. Of course, subscribe to this one as well. Don't forget to like, comment, okay? And of course, subscribe, tell a friend, and share. Let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius, in love. What's going on with Aquarius in love? Please, Spirit. Ooh, well, that flipped over. What is that? The Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay. So some of y'all, there was a situation you were confused about. You're no longer confused. Some of you guys have options. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. I like that. Some of you guys have options here in love, but you're not really fucking with any of them. Okay. Ten of Cups. Okay, I like that. I like that. Some of you guys have been spending time with your kids. If you have kids, you've been spending a lot of family time with your family. Some of you, Ace of Coins and Reverse. So some of you guys are waiting on some money to come in. Um, possibly a job offer. Okay. Okay, the Judgment card popped out. Five of Wands in Reverse. The tower in reverse. Ooh. Okay. What else we got for Aquarius, please? Well, your money looks good. <laughs> Two of swords in reverse. Yeah, I keep getting that there was something that a lot of you guys were confused about, but you're no longer confused about. Possibly a decision about somebody. Because the judgment card in the center of your spread is about a big decision, usually. That's life-changing. 
10 of wands on the bottom of the deck, okay? Wow. Y'all got a lot of uh, responsibilities, a lot of weight on your shoulder. All right, let's see what else we got here. Show me the seven of cups, please, in reverse. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. I'm seeing heavy Scorpio energy as well. The page of cups. Oh, there's somebody that's interested in you, Aquarius. <laughs> Eight of cups. And there's somebody that you may be in the process of walking away from. The lovers. Ooh, you got some serious shit going on here. Already. <laughs> already wow let's see what we got here who jesus all right some of y'all dealing with a cancer pisces or a scorpio i'm seeing somebody here is trying to make you an offer <laughs> uh it could be a gemini some of y'all dealing with a gemini i feel like some of y'all walked away from something show me the page of cups the seven of cups again options I'm telling you, there's people that are interested in you. Eight of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. You walked away from a situation here. Somebody had you feeling left out in the cold, abandoned. The lovers with the Queen of Cups. But there's somebody here that you love. There's somebody here you love. There's somebody here that's an option to you. And there's somebody here I see you walked away from. And you feeling, some of you guys are feeling lonely. You've been a little isolated since you left this person or walked away from this situation. Show me the queen of coins. Wow, that was powerful for the first card. <laughs> the king of swords. Oh, shit. Well, that's your major, that's your court card. The tower in reverse again. And the world. So you close out a cycle here. Queen of pentacles in reverse. There was some situation here that was really leaving you ungrounded. Had you been scattered. Okay, it was kind of fucking up your life here or... Could have to do with a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, somebody that was emotionally emotionally manipulative. I don't know why I can't talk. Let me drink some water. I see y'all closing out a cycle. Some of y'all felt like this person that you close out the cycle with, you averted a disaster with this person. Could have been some crazy shit. Some of y'all, maybe it took some time. Maybe you were resisting change for a while. But I feel like with the King of Swords here, you made a logical decision. You had to put your emotions aside and make a decision with your mind here about this person. Okay. Somebody was, um, for a specific Aquarius, somebody was bringing a lot of drama to your life or a lot of, wreaking a lot of havoc. Okay. Show me the Ten of Cups. This is your happily ever after here. The Devil. Oh, shit. Oh boy, it could be a Capricorn you were dealing with. Oh my God, somebody here was lighting you up. Three of Pentacles in reverse, but I feel like you're keeping your distance now from somebody. Five of Cups. You feel sad about it. You feel disappointed. There's some, you know, some pain here, but I feel like it was somebody here that was strongly attached to your happiness. And I feel like it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you guys, could have been somebody younger than you for a lot of you. I'm seeing it with somebody, either this person wasn't trying to build how you were trying to build, like to have something long term. Um, ooh, for a lot of y'all, this person brought a lot of toxicity to your life or a lot of drama I'm seeing. Drama, drama, drama. Yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse, you had to cut somebody off, Aquarius. Some of y'all had to put them feelings aside. Some of y'all, the sex was bomb too with that devil card. Mm. But y'all had to make choices for yourself. Show me the Ace of Coins in reverse. Wow, who the fuck? The, four, the fourth pentacles. Okay. So some of y'all kind of hesitant here to even start dating again, like letting new people in. You're real guarding. You're real, you're protecting what you got. Ace of swords in reverse. <laughs> some of y'all, okay, I see some of y'all, maybe you've been talking to new people or there've been people who are interested in you, but maybe the communication ain't on point and that's what you don't like. Your communication got to be on point with you, Aquarius. And for some of y'all, maybe there's been some new people, some low vibrational shit, but I feel like it hasn't been, the communication hasn't been there, okay? 
death card is here too. So for some of y'all, whoever you ended things with, I feel like you could have cut off communication with this person with a death card. Could be a Scorpio. Um, maybe this person was holding on to you. See, this was hard though, because the two of cups is here. And I knew that was going to be that because you pulled the lovers. Deep connection here with this person. Whoa. Let's see the judgment card. Ten of Wands. Yeah, y'all got the Ten of Wands twice. Y'all either got a lot of responsibilities or you got a lot of weight on your shoulder here. The Moon in Reverse. Something here you were confused about for a while, a decision here. But I feel like it all came, you all, you know, it came clear for you. Two of Wands with the Two of Cups again. This had to do with a connection, a soulmate bond you had with somebody here. You made, A lot of y'all had to make a decision here about somebody here you had a connection with. Knight of Wands here, you thought about this a lot. The Magician. This could have been somebody you manifested. Somebody that looked real good with that Knight of Wands energy. But I feel like this person was either bringing a lot of stress to your life or... The Emperor could be an Aries for some of y'all. Some of y'all, maybe you were the Aries or you were the Emperor. You had to, you know, stand up and really bring some structure and order to your life. And it had something to do with a decision you had to make or just overlooking your whole situation. That's what the judgment card is about. Show me the five of wands in reverse. That's about avoiding conflict. Okay. Could also be like possibly, you know, trying to have peace with somebody Trying to reconcile for some of y'all. The Ten of Cups in reverse. There's that Ten of Cups again. The Three of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Wands. So whoever this person was, they put you through a lot, Aquarius. You're pulling the Wounded Warrior card with the Two of Wands. I keep seeing y'all looking in the future, though. Y'all like, it's got to be something better. The grass got to be green on the other side. Some of y'all, this person was real manipulative. I'm not going to lie. With the Magician card in reverse... And the Hierophant in reverse, this could have been what drove you away from the person, what broke you guys up. Some of you guys um, were actually married to this person or in a serious spiritual commitment with this person. And they could have shown you a different side to themselves. Eight of Cups in reverse could have been, it took a while for you to actually stand up and walk away or to realize that this wasn't serving you anymore. I do see you healing from a broken heart. I feel like this person put you through a lot emotionally. Um... And you realize that, you know, this isn't what you ultimately believed your happiness was. Okay. Let's see the tower in reverse. Wow. You and fucking Taurus got some powerful readings today. Show me the tower in reverse. The five of pentacles. Four of cups. Oh, boy. I told you, some of y'all don't like the people that's coming y'all way. The world here. Okay. Again, about closing out a cycle. Some of y'all been dealing with this person for a while. It's going to took you a while to get here. Show me the five of pentacles. The seven of wands in reverse. It's a situation here you stopped fighting for. Four cups. King of Pentacles. Okay, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ten of Wands, because you wanted stability. King of Cups in reverse. Somebody here was stressing you out, and it was because this person was emotionally manipulative for a lot of y'all. They was playing games with you. Some of y'all, this person liked to drink. They could have been, you know, kind of abusive when they got drunk or did things that, you know, fucked up the connection when they drunk, when they were drunk. Show me the King of Pentacles. The Moon in reverse. You saw clearly here. Hmm. I keep seeing the moon in reverse. So when I see that, that to me is like maybe some shit was foggy to you in the beginning, Aquarius. But then I realized y'all actually shit became real clear for you. Show me the two of swords in reverse, especially with that two of swords in reverse. It's like the lovers. Oh, my God. That's about a choice, though. You got the lovers again. What's with you and the lovers? Some of y'all dealing with a Taurus because that Taurus and the Taurus reading, they kept pulling that, too. Temperance card, you got three major arcana cards here. A choice you had to make here in love. You took, you had to wait and you really had to figure out which direction you wanted to go. It could have took you some time, could have something to do with a Cancer, Sagittarius, or a Gemini. 
you were stuck. You didn't know which way to move for a while. And I feel like you made the choice here. Even though there was a deep soulmate connection here with the lovers, even though you felt a certain type of way about this person, Knight of Swords in reverse. That's you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm seeing a decision here, Aquarius. Like some of y'all, you had to really, I don't know what's going on with this person, but I feel like y'all were able to see clearly and make some take some steps here for the better of you. The hermit. Okay, you could be dealing with a Virgo, but the hermit is also you. I feel like a lot of y'all really have been spending time with yourself lately, meditating, praying a lot, talking to your spirit guides. Yeah. See the two of swords? A lot of y'all just got to do with a choice here, a decision here, because you're getting a lot of cards about making a choice, making a decision, with having to do with this love, per with this person. And I feel like some of y'all was up at night here with the nine of swords. Some of y'all had some sleepless nights here thinking about this, worrying about this, had some anxiety here about this situation with this person. Show me the nine of swords. The justice card. You want to be treated fairly. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. Page of wands. And the temperance card, you see? With the judgment again. Yeah, y'all, listen. What I'm getting from this Aquarius, this had a lot to do with your happiness. Y'all were not happy with somebody here. Let's sum it up. Somebody here wasn't making you 100% happy. I feel like you took a step back with the judgment card and you had to really evaluate the situation, reevaluate it over and over and over again. And you realize here, this is what I want. This is what this person giving me. You know what I'm saying? It took you some time with the temperance card coming out more than once. You know what I mean? Because that's about patience, really trying to evaluate it. I feel like for some of y'all, the sex was real good. I feel like in the beginning, maybe you could have saw this person as being your everlasting happiness. I feel like y'all brought stability here. You know what I mean? Y'all really cared about this person. You nurtured this person. You know what I mean? And I feel like some things, some choices, some choices have been made here. I feel like for some of y'all, this person could have lied to you about something. They could have been dishonest. They could have been a little bit immature. I'm getting emotionally immature. For some of y'all, they wanted to play the field with that page of wands. That's like somebody I don't want to be in a relationship. That's somebody that I want to fuck. You know what I mean? For a lot of y'all. And I feel like you realize here after having a lot of sleepless nights for some of y'all or a lot of anxiety or thinking, 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 because that's what the nine of swords is about. Thinking, 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 and more thinking. And you realize with the justice card, I know what I want. I know what I deserve. And a lot of y'all got this step in. Now, some of y'all got some options here, some new people here trying to come in, but I don't feel like y'all fucking with the new people. Now, this past person may be thinking about communicating with you with that page of cups. We're going to go because some of y'all going to get some communication from this person that you walked away from or you closed out a cycle with or whatever. We're going to go into the extended now, okay? Because in the extended... It's gonna um we're gonna pull your person's cards, see how they feel about you, see what actions they're gonna be taking moving forward towards you, and we'll also get advice for you from the universe. Let me get three kippers for you, Aquarius. Give me three kippers, please, spirit, for Aquarius. Three kippers for how Aquarius is feeling right now in love. Change. Didn't I say it? Some of y'all really, I'm telling you, either some of y'all about to make a move, about to get a, you know, relocate when you get a, that job call or something about a new job relocation or some of y'all like I'm getting changed, like moving or just changing this, this situation. Like either this person has, is going to change or you're going to move on or some of y'all, this person hasn't changed and that's why you're moving on poverty. Okay, well, I don't really feel that it has to do with your money. I mean, maybe some of y'all are having some financial difficulty times, but I don't feel like that's you. Maybe your person was having some money problems. Okay, um, maybe some of y'all went through poverty. You went, you know, you know what it's like to be without. Maybe this person made you feel a certain type of way. One more card for Aquarius. Journey. Yeah, this person definitely put you through a lot. I see that. And the house is here on the bottom of the deck. Maybe some of y'all were living in a house with this person. Maybe some of y'all courthouse is under that too. Maybe some of you guys were actually like 
thinking about buying a house with this person or something with the house. You know what I mean? Um, maybe some of y'all about to buy a new house. You're about to move. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I got for you, Aquarius. So we're going to go into the extended. I'm going to pull your person's cards, see how they feel about you. Um, we're going to focus on their energy primarily and see what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you. And then we'll also get advice for you from the universe. All right. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I hope to see you guys tonight on Late Night Tarot. Y'all take care and I'll see you in the extended. If not, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.